everyone, I'm Hales and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you... Hang on a minute. Happy Star Wars Day everybody, it's May the 4th and today I'm showing you my first order Stormtrooper dress. It's based loosely on the first order Stormtrooper so in case anyone's going to say that I'm not screen accurate it's just a bit of fun and that's it. I use a simplicity pattern for the bodice. It was simplicity 2444 and the moderate the adjustments I did was I just cut into it and added seam allowance to the pieces which where I'd cut it and I then made the piping using bias binding and piping cord and I used my piping foot on the sewing machine and then I sewed it in between the layers to create the illusion of like a separate layer like a body armour or chest plate, I think that's probably what it's called. The simplicity pattern has this as one whole piece for the bodice, but I thought to make it a bit more Star Warsy, then that's when I'd add that and it just pops out a bit more I think. I didn't use the skirt which came with that pattern because I added a circle skirt on and I used the tutorial and the calculator on the By Hand London sewing website so I will link that in the description box below if you want to check that out so if you are looking to make a dress and you want to add a circle skirt and you're not sure of how to calculate your measurements and things check th check theirs out and you put pop your measurements in whether you want it in centimeters or inches and it does all the maths for you because when I first did the net skirt though it all went wrong because I sewed it and I didn't pin anything I just whizzed it through my machine and it kind of skidded off so it went like that at the front, the layer did, and because it's net, you're trying to then unfind the stitches and unpick them. So in the end, I gave up on that one. I cut it up and I had some spare net, so I made the thing again, but this one I pinned it and I used some of the ruffles from the first one to add onto the second one. I also didn't add a like a mini circle skirt underneath with elastic casing which a lot of people would recommend doing that and if you're doing something where you're going to be wearing it quite a lot and you don't want it to hitch up and you don't want any of the foul net or anything to be scratchy I'd recommend doing that method but as this is not exactly going to be an everyday dress I just went with the net so I layered it up and I then sewed ribbon at the very top of the gathering and added a hook and a hook and loop have the net and everything underneath so I did have to make slight moderations to the fit of it but all in all it went together fairly well I lined it with the same fabric and I probably should have gone with a poly cotton rather than a cotton because this has creased and has wrinkled quite a bit so I would recommend that if you're doing anything like a costume wise costumey kind of dress go for something that's stiffer like a poly cotton which is going to drop the creases and it's not going to hold those creases like this cotton did now that is all for this dress if you enjoyed it please give the video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and i will see you next time